So I welcome you to this coffee lecture, to our new portal for standards. It is called Normi. And the topic of this presentation is simply to teach how to access standards at ETH Zurich. And the first question that may come to your mind, why should this be difficult anyway? Why do we need a coffee lecture for this? And Problem is a little bit that standards are really kind of difficult to get. You're probably used to patents or papers and they are, they are much easier to find and to, to download. The patents, they are difficult because there are many patent organizations and they have sub organizations and all they license standards. And this makes the whole licensing situation already complicated. In addition, there are copyright laws, so it is forbidden to copy whole standards by the same laws that forbid it to copy whole books. Usually, the latest version is needed by the customers because only the latest version is really the one that, uh, that applies to the current situation. And not even metadata is for free. So we license even the metadata, it's called Perinom metadata. And Google has not licensed it, so it's not helpful to search for standards in Google. So this is the reason why I give this presentation. It's not so simple to, uh, to get these standards. Sorry, now I'm here. Yeah. Um, we offer licenses for full text access for uh, several standards at the ETH library. So this is the DIN standards, the ElectroSwiss, the SIA, ISO, VDI, IEC, ASTM, IEEE. They're all in full text. You can download them if you are uh, at the ETH. The DIN standards, I have to say this, are not working yet. So they're not there yet in full text because we have some technical issues. Right now, if you need a DIN standard, you would have to use the old website, eResearchCenter.eu, instead. As I said before, some standards are not in Normi. The withdrawn and outdated standards are not uh, as full text in the, data bank, in the uh, database. If you are looking for uh, outdated DIN norms, they are available in printed books. The ATH library buys a uh, DIN Taschenbuch and they contain the DIN norm. So usually you find DIN norms also in these books. Another issue is with the Swiss SIA standards. I told you before we have the SIA standards in full text, but only SIA national and SIA international, but not the Swiss SIA. For this, we have an other, we have other uh, solution. We have the printed norms at the info center, so this is for the, um, for the info center in, in the Hauptgebäude. Or you can use a separate computer at Bar Bibliothek to get the, the, the PDFs. As usual, to access norms, this is a, it is the same as with, with the other databases. You have to be on an ETH computer, or you should log in via VPN if you are at home. You don't need a special username or other identification because it's just the domain that gives you the right to download these, these norms. So how to find the standard in Normi? For example, if I type ISO 9001, this is a, a, a quality norm. I get two hits with, and both uh, include the, the full text. You see this button here, herunterladen. The difference is that ISO 9001 is the original norm by ISO, and there are these two norm organizations, SN and EN, they endorse the norm. So they uh, so basically license the same norm from both, from ISO and from SN or IN, so we have it twice. You see there is a tiny difference between these two hits. The SN, EN ISO has 46 pages and the eyes are only 40 pages. 
And this is because if a normal organization endorses a norm, they add some uh, introductory pages and some pages in the appendix to explain differences to, to local norms. So the SN is the Swiss norm organization. They added probably some information about uh, correspondence to, to norms that um, are important for Switzerland. So usually you don't need this, but just in case I explained here the difference. So I would like to show you now the whole thing on what you find if you look into the doc document details. Um, so you find here information in Perinorm. And for example, you find here that this norm of 2008 is outdated. So there's a Nachfolge document, a succeeding document. And there are names with different norms. These are norm organizations who have endorsed this norm. So in case you don't find a full text, you may be able to find uh, a full text of one of these norms, and they are the same as the one uh, you're looking for. They usually have exactly the same number and even the date. So you can if you just look at the number, you find a corresponding norm. Sometimes there's also this information that uh, there are some uh, prints. So we may have these uh, printed norms here in our library collection. So I would like to show you this uh, online. So you should see now the interrogator, they call it. This is this platform Nomi, and the I in Nomi probably comes from this word interrogator. And I show you an example, ISO, exact the same example as before. So you get these two hits I showed you before. The details are here. I click here. You've seen it before. It's an uh, internationale Breinstimmung, Vorgänger document, and a lot of information about this norm. This is the Perinorm database. And this herunterladen you would download the, the full text. Now assumed you had a refer in the reference section, you had this norm 9001-2008-11. This is an outdated norm. Assumed you are looking for this. First, you're surprised that the relevance ranking here doesn't really work well. So that on the top, you don't find ISO 9001, but some, uh, some different norms. So scroll down. Uh, here is the one you, uh, you are looking for. You see here there is no herunterladen, but still in the details you find some information about the uh, internationale Breinstimmung, Nachfolge document, which is actually the one that is really the actual norm. And this is the one where we can give you the full, the full text. So this is already what I wanted to show you. So I wonder, do you have any questions? Looking for the chat. I don't see any questions. So in this case, if you like to have some further information about this topic, you find on our library website, uh, resource database Nomi. In case you are looking for a full text and cannot find it, the easiest is for you if you ask the info center. And there was also a presentation about NOMI by Infocentrum Chemie, Biology and Pharmacy just a week ago. And you find this at infocentrum.ethz.ch. So my name was Roland Suri, and I'm the subject specialist mechanical engineering. And if you have questions to norms or other questions to uh, resources for mechanical engineering, you're welcome to uh, contact me at my email address.